So, <clears throat> welcome back to another video. Um, in this video, I uh, just want to show you a little quick how you actually can detach the audio from your actual video clip so that you get two separate files. Uh, so, let's say you got your footage right here. It doesn't really matter if it's a, a screen recording or if it's a actual video or doesn't really matter what it is because as long as there is audio on the clip uh, it's possible to detach the audio from the from the clip so uh, this could be very very good to do in different types of situation uh, where you would like to maybe do some cutting and pasting in the video but you want to keep the audio intact so in 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 uh, in a case like that you want to make sure that um detaching the audio is actually the very first thing you will do before you start to edit your uh your video <coughs> So, uh, click the, the, the video like this, so it's uh, yellow highlighting right here. Uh, if you're using a, a MacBook, you can use two fingers and just tap a little uh, on the tracking pad. That will bring up this menu here. If you are on a iMac or Mac Mini or anything like that, you just right click on your mouse. So here we got several options right here. Uh, what you want to go ahead and choose right here is detach audio. Uh, by detaching audio, you will actually separate the audio from the video. And that's what we want to do here. So click detach audio and voila, there you go. You have actually taken away the audio from the video file and uh, you now got the audio in a separate file here. So, uh, it could be different types of situations you want to do this. Or if you just want to go ahead and do it, that's okay too. Of course, you can have, uh, you can choose uh, the volume of, of the audio, uh, uh, you know, uh, the volume of the audio exactly the same way as if it was not detached. Uh, so by going right here you can see that you have the volume and click on that one and that will make you see this uh, little bar here. You can uh, choose 100% uh, is the original audio of the, uh, of the video but if you want to lower the volume uh, you can actually put it to 50% right there. And you can see that the the levels are lower. So if you're taking a look on the levels here, uh, when I'm going up and raising this, you can actually see the curve is getting higher and higher and you get yellow and you get red. The red one means that the audio is most likely distorted now because it's way too high. Even when it's yellow, it's peaking it's in a peak point uh, that's what I call it a peak point uh, when the audio starts to get maybe a little little bit distorted so you want to keep the level uh, just under the the yellow right there and if that is way too high you can go ahead and lower it as much as you want or if you just want to keep it simple and take away all the audio you can actually go ahead and do that like so and all the audio is actually taken away so if you have several uh, different parts in the video where you actually want to take away the audio you gotta split the the audio file so let's say uh, right here I would like to take away, uh, I would like to mute the audio. Most simplest way to do that is to 
choose the split clip right there and right there is where I want the audio to start again or well right there is where I would like to start the audio so I need to do a split clip right there that makes me uh, that gives me this short little audio file right here and that I can bring it down and the audio is completely dead quiet in this area right here so that's just a little few uh, tips and tricks for you um, about the audio um, in your video files so uh, I hope that you like this video and uh, that you, you find this very useful for your video project so I see you next time. Bye.